Tanner, uh, describe what tonight meant for you, both as a tech hockey player and a Hancock kid. It's a great feeling, obviously, getting that win, especially early in the season. I mean, this was a big test for us to see where we're at as a team, and I think we prove we can play with any team right now. That last stretch, in the last five minutes, you break a stick, try to kick the puck out of the zone, end up blocking a shot. Uh, was there, there even any thought to that, or was that completely instinctual? Yeah, kind of, you just do what you're, I mean, you kind of just, instincts, yeah, definitely. I mean, you do what you can to get in front of the shots, get the pucks out as best you can at the end of the game. How important was it to get off to a quick start? It's huge. I mean, especially with our fans, that helped a lot. I mean, the crowd was great tonight, so just to get them on their heels early is big. And Jamie made a couple big saves as well today, right? Yeah, he's been standing on his head lately, and that's, I mean, when you don't give up many goals, it just helps us as offense, and then we can score and get a win. What are the things you guys did well as a team for 60 minutes tonight? I think just getting pucks and people to the net. I mean, we used our speed a lot. We blocked some shots. I mean, we just kept it simple and then played our game. Uh, describe uh, first uh, your goal, kind of, you know, guys bring that extra attacker on after the penalty call. You're able to find a, find a, a lane there from the bad angle. Uh, just walk us through that play. Yeah, well, we had some sustained pressure, and I think when, once they got that penalty, we got that sixth guy in there, mm -hmm. and then just kind of had him on their heels, and they're moving the puck around, and then I saw Cliff walk down and just try to get in the lane, and he made a great pass. And then also then on the goal that ended up being credited to Walker there, uh, did, you didn't get any uh, didn't get any stick on that one, huh? No, I just got the guy, and <laughs> I don't know what. Did it go in off of a skate or something? What did you I know? think it might have hit their player as mm -hmm. he was kind of turning and just bounced off the goalie's leg and went in. Coach talks about puck luck. It seemed like you guys had a little bit of that tonight, huh? Yeah, I mean lately we've been kind of getting a few bounces that we haven't really had in the past, which I think is a credit to where we're playing and how we're playing, and then we play on the right side of pucks and play well defensively and we'll get those bounces. What are some of the things that Michigan was throwing at you guys tonight, uh, particularly with their offense, and how did you respond to it? Well, they they have a great offense. I mean, they're a lot of threats up front and they have a lot of speed. So we had to play a little bit back. They started to send three guys and have those D jump in. So we had to play a really good defensive and then in the neutral zone. And I guess just finally, what can you guys uh, tune up or build on for tomorrow's uh, second game of the series? We got to keep playing with our speed, get pucks and people in net. But we got, I mean, there's a few shifts we got stuck in our zone and we didn't quite make that great breakout pass or just get it off the glass. So we got to clean up a little bit in our defensive zone and coverage and then just do what we're good at. Thank you. Jamie, uh, just describe what, uh, what getting this W means for, for this team and this program. Uh, well, obviously, it's a big win. You know, home opener. Everyone's fired up. The fans are really good. And these are just uh, four points that we really need. And right now, we have two. You know, we're halfway there. We just got to bear down and. Uh, have to get points tomorrow. Um, obviously, the importance of a good start uh, can't be underestimated. Uh, what were you guys doing well coming out of the breaks there? First five, ten minutes looked like you know, had a lot of chances and got things going. I think we were just building off the energy from the fans. Uh, you know, they were really loud tonight, and we just stuck to our game plan, got the pucks deep, beat the defensemen, and throw everything on the net, and it uh, worked. Did a lot of opportunities, and we were able to bury one right away. You give up just the one goal tonight. What were you seeing, especially there? Uh, Late in the game, is they're starting to put a lot of pressure on? Uh, they're a good team. They're really strong up front. They have a lot of uh, NHL draft picks and guys that can put the puck in the net. We did a good job blocking shots and really uh, eliminating the scoring opportunities, and that was really it. And, uh, you know, my team let me see a lot of pucks, and that was really helpful. In the third period, you had that big scrum there you end up with. I think it was a reed stick there. Uh, just how were you guys able to shut that, shut that down, a couple other similar plays like that in close? Honestly, I really don't know. Uh, I didn't see the highlight or anything. I just... Brett picked up Reed's stick and just tried to battle as much as I can. And uh, fortunately, you know, we got a few bounces and uh, the net came up before the puck went in. What, uh, what were you guys doing defensively, effectively to, you know, limit their chances and the quality of their chances? Really, I think we're just sticking to our game plan. You know, we have really strong defensemen. And, you know, when they, uh, when they play at their best, which they did tonight, it really makes the life a lot easier.